going on everybody thanks for tuning in to today's video it's already week 13 all the points are said and done uh, we raced in like 20 different series but we only did uh, one two three four five six seven full time so that's kind of what we're going over today is all the seven series that we raced full time which is the arc menards dirt 305s 358 modifieds dirt street stocks midgets umps and world of outlaw late models but before we get into all that good stuff make sure you guys leave a like on the video join the discord in the description big fat link right down there big stuff and uh, let's go ahead and look at Arc Menards and see uh, what we've ended up at. Now, I haven't looked at any of these points yet, so this is like the, my first exposure. So we got another Larry Pace win. I'm pretty sure Larry Pace won last season when we looked. Gavin Lemons is up here this time. Same with Nick uh, Nibon. Even Austin Missler, man. He's on the front page of the freaking Div 1 all together. So great job to Austin. A top 20 freaking 5. Over a 1,000 points. Uh, we have to go like way over on like page god knows what all the way in 53rd place uh, we did reach over a thousand points which last season i had like 998 so that's cool to get over a thousand this time around i did not have the best arca season again this time around it was rather insane uh we got one top five which i'm pretty sure was like a second split race uh zero poles average start of 14th so we'd always you know end up going forward in the race which is cool you know we go from like 14th to 12th but that's you know nothing to, to write home about but also with the uh, freaking dj ej coming home in the second spot and points again uh, i think he took second last season as well if i'm not mistaken uh you only had one singular incident though throughout the whole entire time which is pretty impressive and uh and freaking three wins but that's it for us in arca nothing too great uh let's go check out the old dirt 305 uh spring cars right now we got a freaking pleasant surprise man hey we're up in the fourth spot in points. We're freaking right on. We got Eric Zulski, who was awesome, who took home the win in the points, which is freaking sick. He had 1430, 1430 points. He uh, got eight wins. We managed to get fourth in points with zero wins. Keep that in mind. Look at this. Everyone around us has wins. We're like the only one with zero wins, and we're all the way up in fourth spot. We only raced 12 times. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, we had a total of 1,008, or yeah, 1,318 points. Nine top fives, zero freaking qualifying polls. We probably qualified second like a hundred times. Uh, Brady Baker's up there with us, same with Caden Berry. Aiden Price, which is who's awesome, took second place in the series. Austin Missouri didn't even run, I don't think, all the races. Well, I guess he did. He did get uh, counted for eight weeks. So so he's up here in the top 15 spot, so great job to, uh, to Austin. Not too bad for the 305s, man. I think we improved on uh, last season. I cannot remember where I finished last season, but it was definitely, you know, on the front page at least. But on to the 358 Modifieds. One of our very own, man, in all of the divisions, Logan freaking Herbert, Pro Series driver, baby. Round of applause. Great job to Logan with the 1,466 points, freaking 49 starts and 26 wins. That is <laughs> some monstrous numbers. Uh, we got a We barely missed out in the top 10. We finished 11th. Uh, we got 14 starts, 3 wins, which is awesome. Glad we can at least win in something. Uh, we ended up with about 1,200, 1,300 points. Beat JC Floyd, which I think uh, we're in a really good battle with him in the Dirt Street Stock points that we're going to be getting to here shortly. Um, but yeah, uh, 14 top 5s, which those are all the times I finished second place. Um, I either won or finished second place with every race I think I did. So it's really great. Big shout outs as well also to uh, the Sean W. Smith and Lee Fairhurst. Raced those guys quite a bit um, in the 358s, at, on, in hosted and in just officials. Like, always great racing with those guys. And great job to them finishing in the top 25 on the front page. So, on to the next one, which is the Dirt Street Stocks. Dirt Street Stocks, man, it's our highest finishing position, man. I knew we were in a tight battle with JC Floyd. Well, it wasn't tight. I mean, he had beat me by like 200 freaking points, but we took second place, baby freaking right on man 12 starts four wins and uh 12 top top fives which is every single time i finish second place or whatever in the world and austin missler coming up in the top 10 so that's the first time i think we've both finished top 10 inside of a season points which is pretty sweet great job austin love having you in the top 10 baby but stick around to the end of the video if you want to figure out how to get like your name highlighted like austin and all the other guys we had and the other series like that all you gotta do is be my friend on iRacing i want to have like the most friends on iRacing you know to that than anybody so send me your friend request on iRacing but we'll go over that at the end hey we're going to the dirt midgets now dirt midget points another good surprise man hey we ended up in the fourth spot freaking 13 starts uh 10 top five zero wins we'll take it we'll take it 
Uh, average starts fourth, average finishes fourth, so big, big deal. Bunch of ones, four ones. Reminds me of Skyrim, came out on 11-11, 2011. But of course, man, Tebow Brandon, um, I'm gonna have to send him a friend request. I'm gonna have to send Dylan Gibbs a friend request too. Old Tebow and Dylan Gibbs. Really enjoyed racing both those guys this season. Some good racing and all that good stuff. Uh, same with Aiden. We're already friends with Aiden. Aiden's always fast in everything. He finished in the third spot in the in the Dirt Midget Fix Series. So great run to Aiden. Of course, we got Lee and uh, Brady Baker out here as well. Raced Brady all the time in the 305. So great run for him getting in the top 25 area on the front page. And yeah, so another top five in uh, all division points. That is pretty solid. On to uh, the UMP Modifieds, baby. Let's see how we did in those. Sixth place ain't too shabby. Would have been nice, you know, if I could have squeezed in a top five there, but just barely didn't do it. We got a 14.69. Nice, as the guy in front of us has a 14.79. Just 10 point difference there. Uh, we had 13 starts, four wins, uh, which is sick. I almost think they were four in a row, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh... That was an awesome season, though. Isaac, uh, drive all over you out here in the ninth spot. So great job to Isaac coming home in the top 10, as well as a Hayden Tolson in the 25th spot here in the UMP Modifieds. And of course, we got Dylan Gibbs out here as well, beating us again up there in the fourth spot. Chris McGuire, who was like an ex-Pro Series driver, I'm pretty sure, all the way up there with over 300 extra points on me. Freaking really fast, really consistent. And then in the third spot, Tyler Orr. We had some really great battles uh, with Tyler. That's going to be one I send a friend request to as well. Uh, so... I hope you accept it. Big Tyler or friend request initiated. Now we're on to the, the last but not least, baby, the World of Outlaw Dirt Late Model Series. Let's see how we stacked up against the freaking big boys. No surprise to me, man. Freaking Pro Series driver Chase Barbara is up front. I mean, 80 starts, 25 wins. Those are some massive numbers right there. See with Dylan Hauser, he's up there. A good guy, freaking Lucas Ruark, is in the fourth spot. So great run to Lucas, man. One of the only non-pro guys way up there. And Caleb Durgan. Uh, massive numbers, huge amounts of starts and wins. So massive shout out to these guys. Logan Herbert, Landon Francis up here on the front page. We have to go back days worth of pages. We're all the way back in the 84th spot. Shout out to Landon Moody. He's card number 84. Uh, but we had 13 starts. We won one race. I think that must have been Port Royal when like five people showed up. Um, but also great shout out to uh, Sean W. Smith for the top 100, baby. Tyler Wilfong, we raced against him. He got the top 100 exactly. So great job to Tyler. And uh, yeah, man, hey, we got over a thousand points, I guess. You know, that's pretty cool. Um, our average start was ninth and our average finish was eighth. So we kind of always moved forward in the race. I like to see that as well. Uh, we had 40 incidents, which is not the lowest on here. We got Dylan Yeager back here, which I'm kind of surprised, but he just, you know, obviously did eight starts. That's like nothing compared to most of the guys up front. But that's it, baby. That's us up on the season. Like I was mentioning, please send me your friend requests. These are all my outgoing friend requests, people that need to accept them, like Sheldon Creed. You know what I'm saying? NASCAR driver. He needs to accept my friend request. But look at, look at these, baby. Look at all the friends we got. Send me your friend request. I need the most friends on iRacing. Last season, I got a good chunk of people to send me your friend request. This season, I need a, another good chunk of people to send me your friend request. This list just keeps going down and it stops right there. And uh, so... Send me one, you'll be able to see when I'm online and you can join me anytime I'm racing and all that stuff. And you know, you'll be highlighted in the points and all that great stuff as well. Big thanks to Majula Say Speed Shop for keeping me fast all season long, hooking me up with the sets for the late model series. Links uh, for them in the description. Also massive thank you for uh, to Daytona Dad for hooking me up with the button box. You know, if you want your own button box, 80 bucks, baby. It's not that expensive. Usually they're like $150. But if you want something like that, there's a discord in the description, Daytona Dad's button boxes. Join it, take a look at the inventory, see what you want. If you want to see me run a specific series next season, um, I'm not really sold on my schedule yet. I'm still working out on what I'm going to run. It's not going to be the same stuff. I'm probably still going to run the late models though. It might be the only thing consistent and the ARCA. But if you have any suggestions, freaking comment down below what I should run. And I'm going to look at them and all that good stuff. Because, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to run next season. It's up in the air at this point still. But thank you very much for watching. If your name is Nathan Waddell, I love you very much. Uh, also, if your name is Austin Minster, I also love you very much. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a like on it. Thanks to my members. Thank you guys very much. We're going to be, uh, if not already, make, making the Dirt Lane Model Paint Scheme. I'm not sure when I'm doing the live stream, but it's at some point in time. So maybe it's already done by the time this video comes out. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye.